few different types. So they've got quite a collection. They're kind of like Grow What, like Grow What, their company itself has got quite a few to choose from, probably like eight different varieties, different strengths, different battery capacities, that kind of thing. Well, this one here, um, being so small and everything else, um, nearly a 5,000 kilowatt inverter. I'm pretty impressed. If they had sent me a working new one, I would have been even more impressed, but I actually knew what was gonna come at me. Um, and, you know, looking inside, it looks okay. It's, you know, it, parts and qualities there, um, you know, for what I need. Um, but what I'm really impressed with is this thing's now running. So, you know, we're, we're running it, you know, sun's up, we've got eight 250 watt panels coming into it. It'll, you know, it's only kind of early in the day, you know, we're talking like 10.30 in the morning and there's a big tree shading a lot of my panels at the moment, a tree that I'm now cutting down. But this thing, that's it running. That's pretty quiet. It's the quietest inverter I've got. This thing was pretty noisy. The grow what is shocking. Do not buy this if you're in an area where you don't want noise because wow, terrible, terrible machine. But this thing has three tiny fans. They're only tiny little fans on the top. All these other ones have them in the bottom. And coming from the top actually makes more sense to me because these things always fill up with dust. We're in a dirty shed and I don't even leave the front panels on some of them just, you know, for a few reasons, but I can service them quickly, like check voltage if I've got an error or whatever. Not that it happens that much that I get that many errors, but it also just lets more air in, you know, because otherwise it's pulling through these tiny little holes. This one's got a lot better dust kind of system. The holes on the side and underneath are quite fine. They're quite close, so it'll catch dust. These are big drilled holes, like pressed, but they look like drills are being put through it. So massive things can get into these inverters like flies can just walk through these holes and mozzies and insects and crap and they will because it's nice and warm in there when this one there's no chance so it's very very fine but that noise that is an inverter running at pace like and there's a little bit of heat coming out of it not too much when this one feels a lot more uh, you know inefficient because the amount of heat coming out of them that's wasted energy any heat is wasted energy so this thing, it's very cool when these ones are running, and the grow what was terrible on that as well, the amount of heat this thing was producing for no reason, it's not even working, and the noise was just terrible, absolutely terrible. Do not buy those ones. But like I said, other grow what's are quite good. My bigger grow what's, uh, you know, I'm really happy with them. So that's my new inverter. Just giving a, a bit of an update on the shed. Um, before I send this one back, I just wanted to talk about the grow what and how much I hated it, um, and um, and just, you know, show this the new one that i got and i got a good deal and trying to try to rip me off but i won in the end so you know you can and there's even marks on the glass you know it's just it's obviously been touched by someone before me um so watch underhanded dealings with anything especially solar there's a lot of lies and carry on about it um a lot of people you know just think it's all easy and you just put this on your wall and walk away forever <laughs> that's not how it works not how it works at all um, this one doesn't have a uh, Wi-Fi dongle though, so it doesn't have one of these, so I can't see what it's doing. If I'm on holidays, I couldn't reset it, I couldn't turn it on or off, I couldn't do anything. And there's no real port for it either. There's a, a COM port to talk to the battery and that's it. So, um, you know, the Grow Watt here, like I'll just show you, I'll see if I can get underneath and show you what I'm talking about. All right, this silly pen I'll tell you. Right, so that's the underside panel. Like, you can see there's there's not much there. Like, there's no, you know, one COM port. That's COM port right at the back there. You can kind of see right at the back there. So it's hard for me to get in there. But that thing right up there. So that's all they've got. So when typically an inverter would look like that, you can see all the Wi-Fi's and, you know, you can put laptops into it. Then you got BMS, you know, RS485s for communication ports so more connections on the old grow what that's for sure you know it's um um don't know if i'll be happy with this new one i'm very unhappy with the grow what um but all in all it's all been an upgrade because um this other one this old this old one here that ran on agm batteries so when the new one's running this new one here is running on lithium so it'll be a big improvement like well i'm here i'll just show you quickly my um my main grow watts and what they look like. The, um, this is all a mess. This camera is so freaky. So in here, that's, this is a laundry. 
slash shed slash junk pile but that's my 5k it's a lot bigger i think you can just tell by looking at it compared to everything else in the room that's a five kilowatt um, grow watt inverter off-grid hybrid just like all the others and that thing's a beast that just works you know it just i just they don't fault i've got one outside another one that's you know pretty open to the elements which they probably shouldn't be collects a lot more dust than this one and um, the only problem i've had with that over a few years is a few of the old leds are dying on that on the panel but that doesn't really matter i don't really care um, this one's running off a couple of grow what batteries over here in the corner so behind that tub there with all the leads they're two like four kilowatt batteries um, the one out the front's only a four kilowatt and my other grow watt which is outside and it runs out one of our business buildings um, it's got a 10 kilowatt um, so you know we're talking a fair bit of kilowattage going on around here our business over there um, you can see all the panels on the roof there you can see above my head over there panels more panels up there and then that whole shed there all the way down is oh, oh hey what's this freaky thing doing how's it gone sideways yeah um yeah so anyway just trying to film a shed but so this shed all the way all the way down is panels so lots and lots of panels lots of um lots of inverters lots of panels i don't know if you can see so you can kind of see but that's panels all the way down panels everywhere panels 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 another building over there panels and there's panels on the roof where i'm standing now so i can't remember what i've got 48 something like that 48 panels something like that yeah so that was just a um I don't know why this bloody thing keeps flipping around like a crazy little thing. Yeah, so that was pretty much just a um, quick update on that inverter issues that I've had and what the new one's like. And I'll do an update when, once I've actually run this thing for a month or two. I'll do an update and see if it's any good. But at the moment, happy as Larry with it. And I got it for a bargain and China tried to rip me off and they lost. So that'll do. The old redneck power supplies that run all my gear.